Hello there and welcome back. My name is Ashley Liliana and I share all things navigating life abroad. February of 2019 and February of 2021 were the two times I packed my bags and moved to Chile. After a collective one and a half years of living abroad, I have been able to reflect on what that experience has taught me. So today I will be sharing with you the lessons I learned from living abroad in Chile. Lesson one. Chile taught me to slow down. Chileans think that's weird, but when you come from a city that never sleeps, a city famous for its hustle and bustle, Santiago was a change of pace. I learned to breathe, not the smog, although if you're from there, you know what I'm talking about, but life. To enjoy slow mornings, weekly trips to the feria, once with friends, and if you're lucky enough to get adopted by a Chilean family with a family, to be present in simple moments, to simply just be. A responsible traveler. I used to think I was prepared and conscientious of the places I was going to, but in reality, I had done very little to prepare. Yes, I did some surface level research on Google, but it wasn't until I moved and started working and living in Chile that I learned a lot about Chile's history and more so how the US played a role in Chile's history. We often don't understand the role, whether it's big or small, positive or negative, the country we come from plays. My student, fellow coworkers, friends were kind enough to share their knowledge, resources with me, something that I should have done on my own. I was very naive then. And since I have learned that whether it's taking a language class to really understand the language or reading up on the culture and customs, watching a documentary, I've learned the importance of educating myself about the country that I am traveling to or moving to. But on that same note, no matter how much you prepare to be a responsible traveler, a conscientious traveler, plan everything, you will overpack, underpack, you will say something silly or incorrect, say something that could potentially be offensive even though you try not to and be always respectful. Be receptive and listen. I mean, really listen. It also taught me to learn and smile at my own limitations and misunderstandings, to take them with grace, and to be okay in the not knowing. And I promise you that there was, is, and will be a lot of not knowing. Leave your idea of what is right or the right way of doing something behind. If I'm honest, I think this one takes time and doesn't happen in one trip or in one move because it calls for a lot of unlearning and deprogramming on our part. I was first confronted with this during my time in Bali, again in Chile, and I'm sure I will still be confronted with it as I travel and move abroad. But I learned and I always try to remind myself that countries function for their people and not for me or you. You will come across systems, ways of doing things that seem complicated, confusing, or simply just different, but it's not for you or me to fix it, to put our two cents in. It's simply our job to adapt. The excitement will stop the loneliness, eventually. We all know the culture shock graph. You go through the honeymoon phase, then the culture shock sets in, well, there's a sweet spot where you start to move upward and away from where the culture shock, you begin to feel this excitement and kind of loneliness at the same time. This is the sweet spot. It's where you start settling in and finding your way again. You're starting to make friends and building those relationships, traveling, having adventures, trying new foods, cooking, maybe going on dates, falling in love, who knows? You start to find your rhythm. Routines are important. I was never one for routine. I associate them with the mundane sameness conformity. All of that. And oh, how wrong was I? There's a quiet power in routine because it grounds you. And as a long-term traveler and someone who likes living abroad, and if you are the same, you need a routine to keep you sane and present so you can enjoy the experience of living abroad. And especially on those hard days, sticking to some sameness that grounds you, helps you get through the tough days. You will change. Honestly, that three word sentence says it all, but I like words, so here are some more. It's the one sure thing that happens. You immerse yourself in a new country, in a new culture. Your habits, your ideas, your values, everything changes. Sometimes you don't notice how much or if it's for the better or worse until you return home. But let me break it to you, you change. 
as time goes, you start to loosen that grip of your old self. You don't try to find your way back to who you used to be. I recently came across this post on Instagram where they compared reverse culture shock to this wonderful Hilary Duff line trying to fit a square into a circle. It's kind of like that. You start to accept the change. Dare I say even embrace how you've changed. I've gained a new found confidence from my experience of living abroad and long-term travel. I suppose moving to a different country does that to you because you have to figure out all the life stuff in a different language and culture. So these days I walk a little bit slower, maybe from being humbled a few times. I'm not the same anxious person that I used to be, although I still have anxiety. So I don't worry about all of the small stuff. Although I will say I do still worry about some. I do tend to walk a little bit lighter and a little bit slower, both figuratively and literally. The return home is the hardest part. I am making a whole video on this, but until then, I do have a few thoughts. I did not expect that returning to my home, New York, would be the hardest part. I believe now after experiencing moving abroad and returning home a few times, that, that the return home is actually harder than going. I think it's because you've changed and you return to a place that in many ways to you still feels like it's the same. And so navigating those two spaces is quite challenging at times. So if you are someone who is maybe scared, nervous about moving abroad, don't let it stop you. One, you learn a lot and the actual moving abroad isn't even the scary part. It's the return home. Make sure to let me know down below what lesson you have learned from your experience of living abroad. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao!